I like turtles. I'm Pickle Rick. What's up, everybody, and welcome back. Finally, welcome back to another Geek Essentials video. Although, if you follow me on Mixer, the link is always in the description, by the way. I'm live almost every night with Brimstone, usually. We kind of call it like the Game Talk Podcast After Dark because it's that just off the wall and, you know, kind of R-rated, I guess you could say. Um, and there's every Wednesday and Friday, the Game Talk Podcast with Rambo's Corner, myself, Brimstone, and Gangster. You guys might know Gangster as Pete's because that's how we address him in the podcast. But you never can really get a hold of him because he doesn't have a Twitter you know, and we want him to make a Twitter. So if you want to leave in the comments, you know, you want him to make a Twitter too, or you want to get a hold of him on Discord, Steam, or Battle.net, or Origin, or wherever, I'll give you his gamer tag, and you can go harass him to make a Twitter. Tell him Geek Essential sent you. Anyways, though, that's not why I'm making this video. I am really excited, guys. The Xbox One X is just a little over a week away. And although I didn't pre-order one and I'm not getting one right at launch, I am very eager to see how it does. For all good reasons. It's not like some of these fanboys that make videos going, oh, I can't wait to see it fail, that kind of thing. No, it's not like that. I am going to get one. It's just I don't buy consoles at launch. And that is because the Xbox 360, the whole Red Ring of Death thing, that I got so many people I know that went and bought one and were affected by that. So I let them work out all their little problems, their red ring of death problems, if you will. Uh, it, it doesn't matter the manufacturer. I mean, it could be Nintendo, Sony, uh, Microsoft. When the Atari box comes out, if I get one of those, it's not going to be at launch. I let them work out their bugs. But anyways, I am really excited for it. I've watched Digital Foundry now unbox one, and it was a standard edition that they unboxed, not the Project Scorpio version. And I, I love the way the console looks on the outside. I love how it's very simplistic in the box. You get a controller, HDMI cable, power cable, and the console. There's no gimmicks, no connect, nothing. I love that. Speaking of the connect, it is finally dead. And I know you guys are probably going to think, well, it's been dead for quite some time. No one buys that shit. You never hear about it. Very true. But now Microsoft has ended manufacturing for the Xbox One sensor on the connect. And I am so pleased with that. You know, it's not, again, it's not like the fanboy thing, like, ha ha, it failed. No, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is the Connect is at like a $100 paperweight. No one really uses the damn thing. Everything it does, other than the motion tracking and face recognition, all the voice stuff, you, you can do that with a standard headset on the Xbox now. You have been able to for quite some time. So really, unless you're playing Just Dance 2000 whatever, you don't need a Kinect. You never really have. The, the Kinect, like I said, is like a $100 paperweight. So with Microsoft ending manufacturing for the Kinect, for the Xbox One, then you know it should free up some, some manpower, some finances, where maybe they can get back to where they were when the 360 was like top dog where that was the gaming console, the killer console that everyone needed, wanted. It just, it got all the marketing deals, had some good first party stuff. Not saying the Xbox doesn't have good first party stuff now. I play a lot of it, although you might not know they have good first party stuff if you follow the YouTube gaming community on Twitter or wherever, because everyone's always talking shit on it. And you know, most people, especially in this, in this gaming community, their favorite games are Netflix and YouTube. Let's face it. But anyways, that's neither here or there. I cannot wait for the Xbox One X. I want to know if you guys are looking forward to it. How you think the launch is going to go. I personally think there's going to be a hiccup or two. I mean, this is the first console of this kind. I mean, it's, you know, like they say... Currently, it is the most powerful console. Everything they're promising sounds a little too good to be true for me. Like, you know, it sounds like it's just going to be the best thing ever. The best thing since sliced bread, if you will. Sorry, I had to use that analogy. The hashtag is trending on Twitter, and I hate that analogy. 
So it's stuck in my head. But anyways, like I said, I want to know how you guys think the launch is going to go. If you're getting one, if you're going to wait like me, or you just all together said, you know, fuck Xbox and Microsoft, which I know a lot of you have, and that's okay. You know, I'm not here to judge. I'm not in this imaginary console war. Just touching on the console war real quick. It's not warlike enough. You motherfuckers that are arguing over plastic need to take to the streets with guns and knives and tear gas and what. Go have yourself an actual war. Don't sit here on Twitter and just, okay, I'm going to offend someone now. But anyways, guys, I've rambled on long enough about this. The Kinect is finally dead. I can't wait for the Xbox One X. I want to know what you guys think. So make sure to leave a comment and tell Pete, also known as Gangster, to go get a damn Twitter. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. I like turtles.